Today we're going to talk about Outriders and what is this new IP from Square Enix and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Warning, this video contains spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers, please leave this video now. You have five seconds. You have been warned. So, today we are gonna talk about Outriders, give you some insight on what this new game from Square Enix is, and whether I think you guys should pre-order it or not. But let me give you a hint. It's from Square Enix. You know, the highly respectable company that brought us Final Fantasy, Marvel's Avengers, Parasite Eve, Kingdom Hearts, Tomb Raider, and many more. So let's get started. First and foremost, Outriders is a RPG shooter that is rated M for mature. So parents, if you're watching, your child under 17 should not be playing this game due to the blood and gore, intense violence, strong language, and the suggestive themes. And I'm afraid that this video will also be rated M for Mature to set the mood for the game and based on all the gameplay that you will be seeing. You can play Outriders solo or co-op with one to three players. Enoch is our homeworld with anomaly storms that give you your powers evolving you into a species called Altered. There is a beta for this game and it will actually be tomorrow February 25th, 2020, and it will feature the entire opening chapter of Outriders, which is the prologue. Here are the mantras of survival, which are pretty much the rules. First, cover is for cowards. Yes, you can get cover, but why be a little bitch when you can actually go out and kill things outright? Two, your powers are on tap. This means you need to unleash all your powers with all that aggression inside. Three, you gotta kill to heal. This is self-explanatory. You don't kill things, you die. It's as simple as that. Lastly, you need to think aggressive. Playing it safe won't get you anywhere except for six feet under. Go out there and do what a biological weapon is supposed to do. Destroy. <laughs> you are rewarded for playing aggressively, not conservatively. This game will have short power cooldowns and class related kill based healing. So you need to definitely play this game aggressive. I cannot stress that enough. We will be able to hold three weapons and three abilities. And I'll get into a little bit more about the weapons and abilities later on. We have a mini map on the top left. Health is at the bottom left, while your current level and the world tier are at the top of the middle of the screen. You will be able to create your own character, just like a traditional RPG. You can customize the body, hair, and markings of your character or you can just hit the randomize at the bottom left of your screen and the game will just give you a randomized character look. But you can actually still change things from there. The best part about building your own character is that you can actually change the way you look if you want by visiting each camp and there will be a camp inside of the demo. So enough about the easy stuff. Let's get into the nitty gritty of everything. There are four classes, Pyromancer, Devastator, Trickster, and Technomancer, each with their own special abilities. The Pyromancer is medium range and it can be used to conjure fire. The Devastator is a closer range tank. The Trickster is a closer range hit and run type of gameplay that you can actually control space time. And the Technomancer is your long range support that tinkers with gadgets. As you progress within the game, you will unlock more and more abilities and skills, as well as weapons. Each class has eight different powers, but we will only be able to unlock the first four inside of the demo. The other four will be available later on when the full game is released. The best thing about those powers is that you can actually mix and match them to see what best suits your playstyle. And while playing the demo, you will be able to experiment with all of the four classes. When it comes to multiplayer, you can actually play Outriders with your friends, or you can just go into the matchmaking terminal at one of the camps to find or make a party. You can jump into a mission with a friend that is actually ahead of you and the game will give you a warning before you join. If you were wondering, yes, there is crossplay in Outriders, so that means that you will be able to play with anyone on any system and by default, crossplay will be disabled in the demo, but you will be able to turn it on. Outriders will be available for the 
PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5, Steam, Xbox One, Xbox Series S, and X. You can have a maximum of six characters to play with. Each character can have one of the four classes, as I said earlier. There will be a free upgrade path from the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or S version of the games. As for the story, the demo will showcase the prologue of the game. For those who don't know what a prologue is, it's the story before the main story, so kind of like your backstory. As an RPG, you will have to communicate with NPCs and you will be given different options while talking to them. For those who don't know, NPCs are non-playable characters. Some people just don't understand the terms. But what is more important with the demo is that all of your progression will transfer to the full game. So I'm definitely going to tell you, play the shit out of this demo. As for side quests, we will be able to do side quests inside the demo, but you will actually have to unlock them first in order to play them. However, some side quests will be available after beating the Solar Tower boss. Hint, hint, we have to go to the Solar Tower. As for weapons, first off, Eva Lopez will be one of our gunsmiths in the game. We will be able to acquire weapons as we play as well. If you have a weapon that you don't like, you can actually dismantle it for parts. And you will need those parts in order to mod. Now, we won't be able to mod in the demo, but we will be able to see materials inside the game. These materials are called ore deposits, and you can use them to craft items later on, when the full game is actually released. So if I were you guys, I would stock up on ore deposits whenever you come across them in the demo. Now, let's talk about specifics to the PC version of the game, starting with the system requirements. These are the minimum specs for 60 FPS, but the game can actually go higher in frames. For your OS or operating system, you will need to have Windows 10. To play at 720p, you will need an Intel i5-3470 or AMD FX-8350 or higher, 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 750 Ti or AMD Radeon R9 270X, DirectX 11, and 70 gigs of storage. For 1080p to 4K, you would need to have an Intel i7-770 or AMD equivalent like the Ryzen 5 1600 or higher. You will also need 16 gigs of RAM, a 6 gigabyte GTX 1060 or an equivalent AMD 8 gigabyte AMD Radeon RX 480 or higher, DirectX 12 and 70 gigabytes of storage. One cool thing that the PC version can do is that you have the ability to lock and unlock your frame rate and adjust your field of view. You will also be able to remap your keys on your keyboard and mouse, but if you want to use a controller instead, you will be able to use either a Steam controller, an Xbox, and a PlayStation 4 controller. As for languages, the game has an integration of 13 languages, and yes, I will be naming them for you. We have English, French, Italian, German, Spain Spanish, Korean, Polish, Brazilian Portuguese, Russian Simplified Chinese, Latin American Spanish, Traditional Chinese, and Japanese. The game will feature ultra-native widescreen support for all of you out there with those nice 32 inch wraparound monitors. <sighs> Jesus, I want one now. <laughs> and no, 32 inch is an example and not a limitation. The PC version of Outriders will support Nvidia DLSS, which in short, boosts frame rates with AI based super resolution. When it comes down to it, it makes the images pretty, like a ballerina. <laughs> Outriders will also be coming to NVIDIA GeForce Now. NVIDIA GeForce Now is a server-based platform where no matter what your PC specs are, you can actually play the game off of an NVIDIA gaming server. You just need to have really good internet. Most of these servers allow for gaming at 1080p or higher. You can access GeForce Now with any laptop, desktop, Mac, Shield TV, Android device, iPhone, or iPad. So yes, you will be able to play this game on a phone. That is crazy. NVIDIA GeForce Now will also be available when the demo releases tomorrow. Now as we come to the end of this video, the full game of Outriders will be available on April 1st, 
2021. And you can actually pre-order it now. So with all that said, what do I think about Outriders so far? Well, I like it. It's like Destiny meets Anthem meets The Division, but without all those issues. And the main difference that this game has that is huge is that it is made by Square Enix, a huge gaming company well known for the games that I actually listed earlier. Most importantly, you can expect smooth gameplay without any of the issues that Anthem or The Division 2 had when they first launched. I am extremely hyped for this game and I can definitely see myself replacing some of my other RPG shooters with Outriders given that it does not repeat past mistakes like recycled on top of recycled content. I will be playing the demo as well as showcasing the gameplay, but I will also make tons of content for Outriders from now and until before the game is actually released. If you guys want to actually watch that, stay tuned. Also, the Everything Outriders Discord is currently in development, and if you would like, you may join and watch as we build the Discord up until launch and then after each expansion. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.